Hello, Ben here from Nectadal. Quick tutorial showing you how to connect your Trezor to MetaMask. First of all, assuming MetaMask is installed, click on your icon and proceed to select Connect Hardware Wallet as shown. From here, you'll see an option to connect via Trezor or Ledger. So in this case, we'll connect via Trezor. Select it and continue to connect. This will pop up a interface allowing you to grant permission to export your public key. Before this will show, you'll need to ensure your Trezor is connected via a USB to your computer. So select export and it will then ask you to input your unique PIN using your Trezor. So go ahead and do that and connect. Voila! So here you can see all of your Trezor Ethereum accounts. Uh, I'll be unlocking the first account. And here you can see my balances. As you can see, there's zero ETH. This will be an issue later, which we'll resolve. So head now to nectar.community forward slash DAO, where you can participate and claim some reputation. Read through the legal documents uh, a little bit slower than that, and then confirm. And here we are. So before you can stake NEC, you will need to enable it first. And here are some other options such as airdrop and bid gen, but we'll be doing um, staking nectar. So this will create a message in your MetaMask account. And as you can see, this is automatically showing the Trezor connected wallet. So that's your Trezor address up there. So you'll need to confirm that you want to enable your neck, but as you can see, we've not got enough Ethereum, so that option isn't available to us. So you can send Ethereum from any address to your Trezor address that you've exported. So I'll be going to one of my other MetaMask addresses and transferring some, some ETH over to cover the gas costs. And there we are. Perfect. And now you can see I have 0.2 ETH in my Trezor wallet, so I can go ahead and enable Nectar. And now you can see I am allowed to continue and the confirm button isn't greyed out. So you'll be asked to confirm this transaction on your Trezor device. There'll be a number of confirm requests. Go ahead and select all of them and your net will be enabled. Once enabled, you can go ahead and stake your Nectar and select which period you like. Um, up to 12 periods, but this can be extended once you've staked your first amount, as you can see here. There you go.